you want to add MIDI drums to your project and not only that you want them to sound good well in this video I'm going to show you how cool so we're going to step into the Reaper door here and I'm just adding a new track and to that track I'm going to add my installed MT power drum kit so I've got MT power drum kit on here and a lot of guys will just go on here and they'll insert MIDI item and then they'll double click on it and open it up and then just go through and uh, uh, and just plug in a beat like this and it's just the right old faff or you can you know if you want to get real tricky copy bits over wow but then all your beats are the same velocity and it just sounds like a robot wow so good so what I tend to do to make it sound better is to start with the pre-made but you can so what I tend to do is start with the pre-made uh, grooves that we've got down here. Now they're not always going to be exactly what you want, but they're generally a good starting point. So you can grab, say, an open hi-hat, simple groove. Already sounds a billion times better than what I programmed in there. And it's as quick as just going, whoop, dragging it up there, job done. So quicker and sounds better than programming it yourself. Yeah, and then we can chuck a fill on the end. I'm not even going to look at what I'm doing. Just grabbing any old thing. There we go. Whoa. And a fill. There you go. Sounding pretty good already. Obviously, you can go into these MIDI beats now and you can see the velocities to give you an idea of what they're already using. Say I wanted to do uh, double hits on the snares, something like that. Yeah. Easy cheesy. Uh, this way I'm making sure that it's not all, everything's not full volume like you usually get when you're programming MIDI beats. I've got some actual humanized sounds going on here. Cool. Still sounds a little robotic though. We can push this on a bit further. So the next thing I like to do is add a little compression. Now this is a free plugin. It's called Fetish. Be careful what you're Googling, uh, but it is the Fetish uh, Analog Obsession Compressor. And what it does is really just livens it up a lot. There's with, without, with so it's giving a bit of a volume boost but it's also squashing down a lot of the frequencies um that is just evening it out a bit making everything a bit more audible and just really pushing some of the the lower resonances just give it a much fuller sound so instantly much better and then the classic as well to add onto your drums is touch of reverb I'm using the Reverb, uh, Reaper's own installed Reverb. I'm going to bring that down to 30-ish. Maybe a bit less. Again, that just makes it a little more bright, bright sounding, and it's going to help it to push through um, when it needs to cut through between guitars and vocals and synths and whatever else you're going to add to your track. So that's a very quick run through of uh, how I set up my drums. It's not the be all and end all. Obviously each song requires a different feel, but that's a good starting point for you and it's gonna get you up and running dead quick. So thanks for watching. Tune in for more videos like this. Hope you enjoyed this one and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.